Atte Pallo TVstä moi. Tänään Olssista Augustine Jiprin. Tervetuloa. Kiitos. So Austin, how did you end up in Oulu? Very interesting question. Uh, I end up in Oulu 10 years ago, 12 years ago rather. I came here as a professional football player. Uh, I was in the national team camp in my country on the 20. Though I didn't make up uh, the list to the Canada World Cup game. So along the side, uh, a football agent from Oulu here came over to Nigeria, saw me and decided to bring me over. And I came to Finland as a professional player and I've been here all to playing professionally. That's how I end up here. What team, uh, what team did you start with? I started with FC Opa. They don't exist anymore. Now they play futsal. Uh, it was a great team then. Uh, a team that brings a lot of foreign players, brings a kind of different culture into the people of Oulu then. It was pretty, pretty interesting because uh, the lights of TT, the lights of uh, Papa Niang, or Olo, Alex Arinze, lots of them came through Opa. And then from there, we started uh, making wave into the football world and going to different teams. So. This is your first season as a coach? Uh, as a head coach, it is my fourth season. But as a coach, it is my fourth season oh. as a coach. Because uh, I've been an assistant coach. I was a coach player in OPS. I was assisting uh, the former coach, Coach Charles, and uh, at the same time assisting Mika Juntunen. Then, so I was a coach player and playing. When I came back uh, from abroad playing, then uh, I went into this coaching thing because I believe that I have the passion and I think uh, I have something to give back to the community. Mm -hmm. That's why I went into it. You said the word passion. What else does it take to be a good coach? Well, a few things I would say. I would say you have to have the passion, you have to have the love of the game. You have to have the heart of the game. You have a, to have a, a good communication skills within you and player. This has always been the problem mostly in Finland. Coaches don't have these good communication skills with them and player. They are just, uh, it's a two different faction. Coach wants to be on his own. The player wants to be on his own. But when you get the connection, it doesn't mean that you play too much. When there's work, you know when it's work. When there's time to play, you know when there's time to play. But you can put both together. That's how you can get the best out of a player. I think that's the best way to be a coach. What do you think about the Northern Finland's football at the moment? At the moment, it's quite interesting. Uh, there's this picture in Finland, mostly in football, that the Southern people have a good set of football players than the North. They think the North is a pushover, but I tell them that that's not true. The football in Northern Finland is highly competitive, physically, mentally and skillful. It takes a lot for you to come out from the Northern district, football, Northern football area, to go out somewhere else. If you are top from the Northern, then you know you have a good team. Because it is real competitive. I've tested it, I've been in it, now as a coach I still, I'm still testing it. It is really, really competitive. So, Northern Finland football is going really, really high compared to the fact about the weather. Here, everything in the weather is highly, it's different compared to other places. When it comes to winter, we have double. When it's summer, we have double. When it's raining, we have double. So everything here is double. So you have to do extra to meet up with other colleagues. That's why it is really, really competitive in Northern District. You have been playing yourself and now you've been coaching. So you have been having a lot of experience from football here in Oulu. What else can you give to the players? Yeah, I can give them what we call uh, moral support and attention. Because I think in this part of the game, it's not about only playing. Not only about if you want to succeed, it's not about only on the pitch. You have to think outside the pitch. You have to have a good communication, like I said earlier. You have to have a good contact with your player. You need to know them, they need to know you. You need to show that you care and they trust you. You need to win their heart and they will fight for you. If you don't get these things out of them, it's so difficult to get results. I could remember I played under some one coach, some coaches. They don't have these communication skills and this good relationship with these players. And because of that, the players are not willing to compete, to risk or to do anything. It is normal. For example, take a look in the English Premier League. When Mourinho was in Chelsea, because of his act, players were not committed to him. 
And what happened? And then when the new coach came in, what happened? It was the same players. How come they are going, doing good when Murillo went out? Then you should think, it's not about what you're going to give. It's not about the skills. It's not about the coaching. It's about what you will give to them. They need to trust you, and you need to trust them. Then you succeed in the game. You have been having a lot of experience. You've been learning from good coaches and bad coaches. Do you think that's important as a coach to keep learning all the time? Well, education is a continuous process. If you think you know it all, then you're going to sink. I think you should continue to learn from people. My father once told me something when I was little. He said, uh, the best way for you to succeed in life is you learn from the people, the old ones, because what they've seen, you cannot see it. And you learn from the younger ones, because what they are seeing, you cannot go back to be a young one to see it. So if you put two, them together, you become a smart man to handle the situation. That's what I'm trying. Suomen Cup is now finished. So how do you see it as a coach of second division team? How did it go and how do you feel about the cup overall? Uh, I would say I was really, really impressed and uh, it was a big surprise though. I have a young team. I've played with most of them. And I thought uh, when we were playing, I have a kind of good relationship with them. But when we started at Suomi Cup, it was really, really good performance from them. They were really committed, they fought, and they really gave all their best. And at the end of the day, you could see we had three games, won two, and lost one. Okay, we're just unfortunate that uh, we had to lose the last game against Ropes 1-0. We had the game in our hands and it went off, but this is football. But I was really, really happy with the performance and how the team went. It was really good experience, this Kakkonen Cup game. Now we know what we need to develop, what we know we are lacking, and what we know we should improve more on. Now we know, and we know our advantage. We know our best strength. Likewise, the player, I told them, give yourself personal feedback, what you think, how your performance is, then you develop from there. And that's how we've been going. You have a really young team, as you said, so how do you see that now before the season is really going to start? Yeah, pretty interesting team. And I tell you, in the beginning of the season, when the season starts, it's going to be one lovely, interesting season for them because they have strong passion, they have the will to play, and they are hungry to play. So these players that I have want to show they want to be in the football world, and that's the most important thing. If you don't have the will, the passion, you can get anything out of them. First, they, they have to demand from themselves before you can do anything. But with the ones I have now, they are really, really hungry, and they want to play. And that's a good thing for me. It help, makes the job much easier. You talk about passion a lot. If you have two players with the same passion, which kind of player style do you prefer? What do you look as a player? I love, I will use the word love, a player that is a team player, not an individual. A player that has the charisma for victory. A player that don't look at the game just for fun. A player that have a focus and a vision in front of him. That's the player I will go for. You also talked about the performance so far and you know what you need to improve before the season starts. So what are those things you need to perform? Interesting. Every coach has a, a pocket handle of their things in their pocket and they don't like to expose it out. But the truth about it is, uh, uh, like I told you, there's personal feedback for the players and even the coaches. We have our own mistakes and we need, we spoke, we're going to speak about it and try to improve as a coach. And then the players to have their own individual mistakes, which we are working on. Mostly, we're going to focus more on the psychological part because I have boys that I know they are skillful to handle it. It's just the mental part that is missing mostly. So we're going to work on that. The average age of the team is currently around 20 years. How do you think that's going to change before the season starts? Well, I think that's the best stage for you to coach. Because they are 20 years old, they are full of energy, they want to give everything. 
That's why I said if they have, if you have the passion, the charisma and the will, then it's easy for the coach to do the job. Because they are young, they still have time to learn. But if they are old, there's no how you can impact anything into them again because they feel they already know. But now, they don't know, so they are willing to learn. Is there going to be new older players coming to the team? Well, we don't know at the moment. I think we've gotten all the players we want at the moment, so we're going to build on that, but we don't know what the future holds. This is football. Injury might come, things might come your way, but right now we just focus on what we have. You said you have a really young team, and I feel there's a lot of teams with around the 20 years of age in the second division. Do you see that's the current theme of the second division to produce better young players? Actually, everybody now is trying to you know, produce young players because the football world is going big and globally. And everybody is now, football is all about business. It's not about fun like the way it used to be in the in the 70s and 60s. Now it is about big business. Everybody wants to groom young players, give them time, build them up, then look for a way to put them into the big market. Just like you see when Mika was here, he had uh, an opportunity to go to leagues. He's a young player, but he was being groomed and, you know, nurtured, and now they think he's good enough to go out and they're, they're pushing him out. Same thing with our team OLS. I have a big plan this year. It's not about only playing. I have a big networking plan that I have for them. They play, you play, have a good season. You never know what will happen. I've played abroad many places. I got friends and coaches. I spoke with them and they're interested in the team. Let's see how it goes. If it goes good, you never know. Maybe at the end of the season, we get one or two players going out to have a good career and future. Where do you see yourself as a coach in five or ten years from now? Everybody has a big dream. Maybe I coach Chelsea, you never know. <laughs> no. <laughs> but uh, I aspire to be, hopefully I become a good coach in future and uh, get a better team so that I can, you know, because I feel I have a lot to give and I too still have a lot to learn. So in the next uh, five years, I don't know, but every coach aspires to be big, like I told you. Maybe mind you or Chelsea. You have a young team, as you said. What kind of play styles, restrictments does that have? Can you play all the play styles that you want or does that restrict you to one certain play style? That's uh, very interesting. That's why I told you that the team I have, they are young and they are willing to learn. I played almost this whole Swami Cup. I've played three systems and they all adapted to the system. When we started, it was a bit difficult. But really, they are so smart and they adapted to the system. So it gives me self-confidence that I can vibrate my system. I don't have to play one whole system the whole game. No, I play system according to my opponent. And luckily, I got good players that fit into the system. So it's been really, really good experience to see that in the cup game. Last season, Alls finished with the eighth position. What is the goal of the next season? Yeah, we were eight position last season, but this year we want to make it the uh, first four best team in Kakkunen because we think we have the quality. All we just need to do is to be committed. If we are committed and we do what we are supposed to do, I think we end up being first four best team this season. What needs to be improved from the last season? Well, Last season is gone and uh, it went with the whole technical crew. Like I said, uh, when I got the contract, uh, there is this hierarchy thing in OLS. It's, uh, I would say it's a, a chain of command. And the chain is uh, they try to take young players from uh, the juniors to the next step, like that to the next step. So what I'm going to do this compared to last year is uh, he encourages the young ones mostly when they came in, okay, and uh, they got a couple of chances. We want to continue in that format. We want to try to see how we can help develop the boys and hopefully get the boys to the next step. Last year, we got one player that went from OLS to Aseolu, which was a big plus. We want hopefully that we get maybe two or three or four down to maybe Aseolu or even possible to the Vekos Liga. So that is our goal, main, our main key point for this season. And that's what we tried to do. Last season, we got one. 
this season we want to see if we get two, three or four, even abroad, if possible. What kind of connections does the team have if there is players without playtime? Uh, that's why we have a chain of, uh, chain of uh, playing system. We have uh, from the Kakkonen, you can go to Ykkonen. And then we have Aseolu Academy, you can go down. So if you don't have, a, if players don't have more playing time in our, we try to create them a space for them to have a playing time. We have the ACLO Academy, which we can, you know, send our players there to play. There they can get more playing time because we don't want them to be rusty. We want them to get the feel of the game. So if we feel that uh, they are okay enough to come and we need them, we can go pick them back from there easily. Then we don't have to start from the scratch again. Same thing as Olu is doing. When players don't have more, more playing time, they come to us to play, to get more playing time so that they keep their fitness level and the game intact. What do you feel about the young players who feel that the delegation to the lower leagues doesn't benefit their performance? Well, that's an interesting thing. Uh, I remember I once spoke with some players. It doesn't matter if they take you down to the lower team to go play. It doesn't mean that you're a bad player. Or neither does it mean that they don't want you. No, that kind of philosophy, uh, philosophy and mentality is not a good thing for a football player. You need to be humble. If you, they take you down, you need to show that you are more better and it was a mistake for them to push you down. It shouldn't disturb them. It shouldn't ruin their self-confidence. Instead, it should raise their self-confidence up because a football player without playing time gets rusty. And when he gets the time to play, then he starts to panic. But if you play all the time, then it's easy. When they bring you, it doesn't matter what division you're playing. Football is football. We're playing same round ball. So you need, if you're sent down to go to third division, does not mean that you're not a good player. No, it is for us to create a space for you to get playing time so that you can keep yourself confident in the same shape. If you're not a good player, we will not sign you in the team. That's for sure. If we sign you, we trust you. We believe in the player. And that's why we put him in the team. So it doesn't matter if we send him down or up. We just want him to get a feel, not to just train, train and not, tra and not play. I'm a football player. I played the game, so I know how it feels when you don't play. Thank you, Austin. Thank you.